All right, what's up, boys? Today, I have a banger for you guys today. I'm trying something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at the Hipfire MP5. I haven't made a Hipfire uh, weapon build since the Hipfire PPSH back in Warzone 1. But we're going to be using the Hipfire MP5. And I'm going to be honest, bro, this thing is actually pretty nuts. Uh, being able to have that um, left and right strafe... Um, while not ads is just so quick that i feel like people don't expect you to land every bullet so quick one thing i did notice is my uh hip fire accuracy is actually kind of fresh and i was still able to make this work so if you have really good centering and really good hip fire accuracy or maybe your mouse and key like bro this this weapon build that i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video is just absolutely insane but anyway, I got a little couple of solo duo games and a little bit of unhinged solos with this class setup. And um, yeah, you guys will be able to see how nasty this shit is. So if you want the class setup, it'll, it will be at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's get straight into the gameplay, baby. Oh, brother.
Oh yeah, you freak.
All right, boys. So here is the class setup on screen. We're going to start off with the pain apple grip. Now, there is a Merc 4 grip, and this was the best hip fire attachment in Modern Warfare 2019. But I looked on sim.gg, and apparently the pain apple grip actually gives less hip fire spread. So the pain apple grip is actually better, even though the Merc 4 grip was literally, you know, the one that's designed for hip fire in NW2019. For the muzzle, we're going to use the Syngard MVB or MKV. I like to tune this for a little bit of recoil smoothness and recoil and bit of velocity. Uh, the reason being is because our next attachment is stockless, and this basically, you know, this gives us aiming recoil control uh, as one of the cons. And having a little bit of recoil smoothness on that muzzle really tightens that up. Uh, and then our laser is going to be the Point G three P. Um, we're going to tune that for max hip fire spread and a little bit of hip fire walking speed. This really, this really just quickens up that strafe speed and makes you a, tar a harder target to hit. Uh, you could tune for hip fire sliding accuracy, but you literally can't shoot when you're sliding, so that's literally pointless. Uh, and then of course we have the 50 mag. I would do 40 mag, but this is a hip fire build, so you're going to be, you know, you're basically going to be relying on spraying and praying. But yeah, I honestly I had a lot of fun doing this. I, I really did. I, I I definitely had a lot of fun using this setup today. Definitely a lot different than what I would normally use. But uh, let me know if you guys uh, run hip fire bills. I know what a lot of people that do, like nuke grinders as well, that run hip fire bills. But it's mainly just M and K players. I don't really see a lot of controller players using hip fire bills. But yeah. Anyways, take it easy, fellas. Hope you guys enjoyed the daily uploads, and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you, boy.